I like to share life principles. And so as much as possible, I'm going to try to do that uh, in my videos. So, but I also like to share, you know, what I'm doing. I'm, I, right now I, I counted up, I have like seven projects on the go. And these are what I call my Christmas socks, which means that you only wear them at Christmas. Then they last. Um, years ago, I knit socks and, you know, it doesn't matter what wool you use, uh, the heels eventually wear out. So, and there, and that's um, more likely to happen with the hand knit socks than it is from for purchasing socks. Anyway, so this is um, the first of my Christmas socks. And I share some ideas on how to avoid the ladders in the corner. If you've ever knit on the round or knit socks or use double pointed needles like these, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, life principle. Okay, so recently I was reminded of the value in writing things down. And I'm not talking about, you know, your grocery list or your to do list. It's more about writing what you would like to see happen in your life and then just setting it aside. Years ago, I taught a little workshop and that was one of the principles I taught in that workshop. And uh, to illustrate it, I was a single mom with two young girls and I wrote down five things that I wanted to see happen in my life. Four of them came about, one I'm still waiting on, so I'm not dead yet, so, you know, there's still time. But uh, one of the things I wrote down was to marry um, a really nice man who had money. <laughs> I don't mean like super rich, I mean just a guy who had some money. And it was kind of funny because not too long after that, I met my Irish man who eventually became my husband, who is still my husband. And... Uh, it uh, it was, you know, I used to think chemistry was something that was only in movies, not something that really happens. But this uh, this relationship, meeting and so forth, made me a believer in chemistry. We're married 25 years, actually, just, just passed. October 24th was our anniversary. But we've actually been celebrating it since the beginning of June. And we're going to continue celebrating it right on to the end of the year. Why wait for one day? Do the whole thing. Anyway, okay, life principle, write things down. I wrote down what I would like, and um, you set it aside and just wait to see what happens. Now, that doesn't mean you never put yourself out there. My Australian friend, Philip, phoned me one day and, and said, Susie, you got to put yourself out there. And I said, Phil, you don't know who you're talking to. I'm not that kind of a person. But anyway, one day I did put myself out there in terms of uh, uh, just welcoming somebody who was new to the community and that somebody happened to be my Irish husband and uh, we started talking that day and we still talk and that's a key component in our relationship and connecting so to illustrate this um, principle a little bit further when I was teaching my workshop one of the girls said, okay, she, she wrote down her five things and we put it in what we call the dream box. And she, um, one of her things that she wanted was a horse. <laughs> I thought, whoa, that's pretty big. That's not like getting a pet dog or kitten. And anyway, without her telling anybody else other than the girls in our group, in our workshop, uh, somebody one day called her up and said, look, I've got this horse named Dandy. Would you like to have Dandy? And uh, of course, she said yes. So her dream happened. Now, writing it down doesn't mean it's not magic. OK, we don't sort of put it in the box and wave the wand over the box and poof, here it is. We've got it. Um, but I think one thing it does is it helps open you up to the possibility of fulfillment. And that's something to think about. And that's where I'm going to end this right now. Um, write things down. Write down what you would really want to have happen. Write down what you wish for, what you dream for. And set it in a dream box or a dream book, however you want to do that. And wait to see what happens. Not magic, but 
Uh, I suppose there's a lot of people who could analyze all that. Anyway, try it out. See what happens for you. And in the meantime, if you're interested in knitting socks and avoiding the little ladders in the corner that can occur, go ahead and continue watching on. And if you're done, turn this off and we'll see you later. Bye.